what's up and welcome back to another every for you wednesday ba -ba -ba. so this week we're just gonna do and sit down and do a quick review of some vma looks so let's just get right into the video oh. before we get into the look since you already know what this video is all about because of the title right the title says it all we're gonna look at some vma looks but before we get into that go ahead and subscribe and hit a big thumbs up because i promise you're gonna love this week's video first look who do we have Lil Nas X. all right Lil Nas x okay it's a no our outfit is garbage it's been honest i I think it's a vibe. I, th I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I guess that the each is. Uh, I'm not gonna knock whoever if you wanna wear whatever you want. I think that it's a VMA look. Yeah. It, it's fun. It's it's out there. Now, could I see a lot of people pulling this off? No. But it's something about with Lil Nas X having it on. I can't really imagine him wearing anything else but yeah. this outfit. Oh yeah, I think sense now. I think that it fits him. I, I like that it, it's sparkly. I like that he didn't just show up in mm -hmm. like just like some Instagram outfit. I like that he kind of played into the role of VMA's crazy out there. Like I'm a rock star. <laughs> like I like that he did that. Well, as Especially as, I mean, let's let's just be honest. As a black guy, as a rapper, I I, I like that he didn't just show up with like. Well, no, I you know, know what I mean. Do that. It's this is definitely uh, whatever he got on definitely uh, works for him. Yeah, I mean, it's out there. Like I said, it's no, it's not for everyone, but it's definitely something that there was a lot of thought that went into this outfit. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad. I like it. And plus, the crop is really in right now. So he has like this crop jacket, and then it's like really shiny. But then he has like this really like tame like underpiece. But then also like the underpiece is a statement too, because it's like lace and fluffy. Like it's like. I mean, the rodeo and his whole, you know, riding on horse. I mean, he, he kept it going with the cowboy boots, but it's like futuristic, which is what he's like doing right now. Like cap futuristic cowboy type thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So second, we have Normani. I think that's how you say her name. If I'm messing up her name, I'm sorry. Like, no disrespect. Also, um, disclaimer, we are judging the outfits, not the people in them. And we are not fashion police. We're just two everyday regular folk giving our personal opinions on, on, on some looks. Normani. Well, she has, it looks like it's a two-piece number or it's a one-piece made to look like two. There's a lot that I like about it, but there's something either missing for me or the silhouette on her is great because she she definitely has the body for it. So the, the, the silhouette, yes, great. Maybe a different color scheme because the dress really isn't bad. I don't know that there was any other shoe that could have gone with this, but maybe if I seen it with a different shoe, maybe I could be like, oh, wow. The top portion of the dress, I think is too much going on. I mean, you already have like this very exposing, very sexy dress. It's, it's sparkly, it's far out kind of mix of colors here. And then you throw like this black stripe thing across her titty boob and it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of took away. I think, I don't, Either that black strip needed to be incorporated on the other titty boob, or we could have just maybe not had that at all. But the hair is popping, uh, uh, the, the hoop, I get it. I mean, the hair is safe, but it's definitely laid. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have anything to say about Miss Normani? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she looks nice. So, I mean, I guess. I like the, the, the ring on her finger is really cool. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong with it. I think that's a, I think 
correct me if I'm wrong, people, but I think this is her first VMA. And so for our first VMA look, I think it's great. Not bad. Absolutely. Next, let, let's talk about the Jones Brothers. They're making new music, so they're they're here. They're showing out. All right, so let's let's see what Kevin, Joe, and Nick have for us. All right, so what do you what do you think in their Fendi suits? What do you think? I hate it. Like I said, I don't follow the style now, so I really I really personally don't get it. But the suits, I mean, with like sneakers, I don't I don't really understand it. But I mean, the suits are fine. But the sneakers with suits. I'm not very into fashion, so I definitely am not up on the latest, greatest trends. But for me, I've seen them wear better. I've seen all three of them wear better clothes. I've seen them wear better outfits and give me better looks. Like, it shouldn't even be clothes. It should be a fit. You know, clothes is what you wear to go to the mall. These are very, it's very nice, but it does not give me VMA red carpet making new music it doesn't give me that it's it's very safe yeah jonas brothers i mean cute but um turn let's turn up the heat a little bit all right next camila cabello she's giving us gown she's giving us heel she's giving us wavy hair i, I think that it, it, it fits her this could have went very bridal very very fast and some might still say that this is bridal, depending on the bride. I mean, it's a risque dress for a bride. I think she stood out. Not a lot of people go towards the white with these events. If anybody could pull it off, it's her. She's definitely got the body for this type of dress. I maybe would have liked to seen a different shoe, but this one definitely works. She went with only earrings, no bracelets, no necklace, which is a statement. I mean, the dress is really busy throughout the midsection and everything. So I could see why they opted for no bracelet or a necklace, maybe a clutch, maybe a maybe a blingy ring or something. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I think that's the look now. There's the uh, leisure jewelry thing. This is good, I mean, it's, I mean, it's more of a look than wearing a lot too much jewelry so i mean i guess with a dress like this it pretty much speaks for itself and i mean it really is stunning so okay camila cabello all right so next lizzo this is a vma red carpet look and if you're gonna wear red down the red carpet you better bring it and i think that she did yeah it's nice it's different i like it i, I mean it's it's fitted, but it's it's fitted in the right places. It's very classic. It's throwback, but it's definitely got like a huge modern twist to it. Yeah. The hair, the makeup, the jewelry, the nails. I'm getting all decades. And normally when you mix together multiple decades, I mean it can get really really messy. This had direction, it had vision. I see the concept. I think it's very her. I love it. It's I love nice. it. It's nice. It's different. It's, uh, I'm not really hip on the uh, women's fashion, but I mean, it's nice. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Taylor Swift. You're not gonna tell me this is not a Luke. Yes, it's okay. Oh no, this is this is everything. Yeah, I don't. Like I said, I don't get it, but I wouldn't expect anything less. This is not our first rodeo. So she definitely knows oh, yeah. how to how to bring it. With long legs and a thigh high boot, I mean really anybody with a thigh high boot, I mean it's just Yeah. Or a hip length boot or whatever you wanna call it. That alone, those boots alone. Yeah, boots are nice. I love the blazer. I love a blazer dress. It's it's so feminine, masculine, best of both worlds. I like that she went with a a, a a fuchsia top underneath versus a yellow or blue or black. I like that she went with the fuchsia because it really made the fuchsia lines or the pink lines in the jacket really stand out. Exactly. And then the black boots brought out the black. I mean, it. I love the, the slightly messy wavy hair. And then of course she's got, got her red lip, her classic red lip. I love it. All right, Taylor Swift. All right, Shawn Mendes. I like it. It's basic. Has on a fitted suit or a white t shirt for whatever reason. He should have just went with a black shirt. Yeah, um, 
No, I don't know that I would say it's basic. I guess because for, for him, well, he's transforming into a more grown up. So at, for him, this is this is a lot. I mean, he's been doing this for a little while, but this is still new from what you normally think about when you think Shawn Mendes. But I think it's still very him. It's out of the out of his comfort zone, but it's still very him. I think that the color took it to the next level. If it was just black or gray or blue, then I was like, okay, what's going on here? But with, but with that color, I think that cut of a suit worked very well. And then it's like, well, I'm gonna throw on a white t-shirt underneath. I like that, it kept it young. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, it's just, I don't, like I said, it just seems basic. I like the necklace, I like the look, I like the hair. It's very bad boy, it's very Fonty means 2019. All right, Megan, the stallion. I like it. I like it. It's very Texas. I like it right now. This is very on brand for her. We we have lots of skin. I don't I don't have a whole lot to say. I mean, I I, I love it, but I, I, it's just only because I've seen so many looks from her. This one just isn't my favorite, but I do love this one. But I, but I'm willing to bet that in person, this was everything. Cause it looks like something that really has a lot of intricate. Yeah. It has a lot of little details that you will probably appreciate more in person. And probably the way the lights and everything hit it. I'm thinking it's probably an outfit like that. That if, when you're in person, I'm sure it was stunning. Yeah, that's probably one of those where you gotta be up closer yeah because i mean you can clearly see i mean all these little fine details and i'm pretty sure it's shine and I, I like that it's so sparkly and loud but then she went with a nice straight chair hairstyle oh, nice. no wrong. i mean it's, it's, it's a good look for the vmas yeah good job megan so now we have big sean two chains full prices no i mean it's uh I mean, two chains, my guy. I just don't like the, I don't like the jacket. But like I said, I get it. He's, you know, two chains is different. So I don't really, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I just don't like the, uh, the jacket. But uh, I like the, what Big Sean is, you know, I was wearing like the, the, you know, the button up, the open shirt thing with the, the chains and stuff, the pants, the shoes. That matches the Detroit style thing, OG style. So I'm cool with that. Like I said, they've been, they've been there, they've been around. So it's not really. I don't think they took it as seriously. So it's, it's, I don't really expect nothing less or more from them. It, you know, it's one of those, like, eh, we just showing up. I'm cool with that. It's, it's a down style thing. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. It's no reason to overdress. You've probably been there, been there and done that. So it's like, eh, we just showing up, which is cool. I mess with it. I mean, I'm fine for a dress down look. Absolutely. Sometimes less is more. I don't really have an issue with either of their outfits. My kind of issue is they they look hot. You know, this is a summer event. Yeah, I don't get it. The jacket thing and 100 degree weather. Very nice outfits, but I just season wise. That's the style. People want 100 to 100 degree weather, so. Now, 2 James jacket, I mean, that brought some fashion to it. But then when he matched the shoes to it, which don't even really match. It's like it was going somewhere with the jacket and I'm okay with the rest of the ensemble, but the, then the shoes came in and I'm just kind of like, well, do I like the jacket? I'm dizzy. I mean, I, like I said, I wouldn't, but I mean, the Big Sean thing is cool. Like I said, black, can never go wrong with black, so I think it's really uh, just uh, OG style looks that they both got going. So, I, said, I mean, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with either one. I guess I've seen worse. All right, so we had a lot of YouTubers show up at the VMAs and walk the red carpets. And I think a lot of YouTubers had some better looks than some of the other celebrities. Tana freaking Manjo. Tana showed up with a whole snake. And then she got her head chopped off by PETA. I, I'm not gonna get into that side of it. Let, let's just assume that the snake wanted to be there, that the snake was happy, that he was thrilled, or she was thrilled to be walking the red carpet with Miss Tana. I'm all for this Britney Spears throwback type of thing. Remember when Britney had that snake? Mm -hmm. It's out there. It's, I mean, it's, it's very Tana with the gloves. 
shiny gold, melting gold looking dress. And then like the little uh, Elton John type of glasses. Like, I think she came and served a look. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice, she's different. It says VMAs to me. Yeah, I mean, it's better than what a lot of other people are saying, so. People were upset about the snake. We love the animals, even without the snake. But the fact that homegirl, and I, I'm so scared of snakes, but the fact that homegirl was brave enough to walk the red carpet holding that snake like that. Just a lot of coins. Like, Tana Paul, ma'am. Tana, 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 Tana. All right, and last but not least, we have Mr. James Charles. Don't look at me, I have nothing to say. <laughs> you don't like it? I mean, I don't, I don't really. He turned heads, he turned heads. This is what you wear to the VMAs. Now he recently went blonde. And I'm, I'm here for it. It's really nice. I really like his dark hair, but this, I really like the blonde. And so for him to do this big change right before a red carpet event, mm -hmm. I think it really made him like, the people were like, dang, who is that? And a lot of people were like, wow, look, pink looks really good. Yeah. They're saying he looks like pink, which he, he does. He does look like pink with the, with the hair. And it does look like something that you can see pink wearing. Oh, like, yeah, from the distance. Know. Yeah, absolutely. Body looks great. I mean, we have legs like that. I mean, absolutely have them out. The boots are really, really cool. The jacket. I like the the utility feel of it. Hmm. And even though it looks to be like a like a leather, which is more of like a like a hot, but because so much skin is showing, you don't mind it. Yeah, it's not that bad. But I. I I love, I love the makeup is, is really nice. I like that he did just like kind of a, some color on the lid, but it like it wasn't crazy. And then everything else is really like, it's kind of new. James, what it do, baby? So that is all that we have for you today. We hope that you enjoyed our little VMA uh, ratings. Once again, I just want to say we were rating the outfits, not the people. Exactly. And, uh, but overall though, there's a lot of people that we didn't even get to talk about. And we just, we just picked random people. Really overall, this VMA 2019 dressed to impress. They really, really did good. If you guys agree with what we said, let us know. If you didn't, let us know. Sound out in the comments below. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this week's Every Freaking Wednesday. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up because we know you love this video. And also, we have other social media, so come find us. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I also have a music channel. He also has a Twitch. He's also doing a podcast. So if you want all of that, if you want to interact and know more about what's going on behind the scenes, come find us. Social media. Let's do this. Definitely, definitely subscribe and hit the like button. Share, share too, man. Yeah, definitely leave comments, negative, positive. Definitely let us know, man, and definitely hit that subscribe button and share, man. Definitely. Um, uh, whatever you're doing, reading, Bible study. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs>